Looks like the truth finally came out. There's been a lot of rumors and speculations about why Tommy Lee was allegedly banned from the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season five reunion taping. Well, here's the deal. Now, what was being said, according to Tommy, as a matter of fact, was that Mona Scott Young banned her from the reunion taping. However, Mona Scott Young denied those accusations. I was not sure whether or not maybe one of the other producers banned her or whatever, but a lot of people were saying around the internet on every website, look, she has all of those warrants and those warrants are keeping her from attending the taping because, you know, I guess they'll mess around and arrest her or whatever. But here's the deal. <clears throat> she posted a picture of herself in a man's office. She's sitting there while he appears to be looking over some paperwork. And what she said was, and I quote, never let your past define you. Moving right along, thanks at QCM CEO underscore P for the plug. It feels great to put the past behind me. Hashtag Drew Feinling. So I guess Drew Feinling is her lawyer her or her attorney. And he's helping her, you know, to fix this issue that she's having, basically. And I saw a picture of Drew Feinling with Offset from the group Migos, you know, from the rap group Migos, they made a song, Versace, Versace, oh, Versace, Medusa had almond like Illuminati, I rap so retarded, that crap, but anyways, so yeah, he's an attorney, and she also posted a picture of his social media page, where she told people, y'all go follow my hashtag attorney, told him to make a page, hashtag the best in the city, hashtag Drew Finling at Drew Finling hashtag we love you hashtag keeping real ones on the streets but here's the deal if he's keeping real ones on the streets then then that means he's helping criminals right I mean what do you mean when you say real ones what is a real one do real ones hijack buses I mean I just gotta ask because that's what she was accused of allegedly hijacking a bus among other things was it fraud or something i don't remember specifically so don't hold me to it and i'm not saying that she's guilty because everybody knows i'm team pretty girl so you know pretty girls can do no wrong in my eyes I i'm not accusing her of anything i'm just saying allegedly but anyway so what do you guys think about her being banned from the reunion taping because <laughs> she has all them damn warrants <laughs> and what do you think about her promoting this lawyer drew finling on social media is that ever cool to do is she glamorizing that crazy lifestyle that she used to live or is she just you know giving credit where she feels that it's due with this person who's helping her to stay out of you know jail and in the street where she wants to be i mean who wouldn't want to be in the street as opposed to jail but anyways so is she glamorizing the lifestyle or is she just living her life? <laughs> the, and what do you guys think about her getting banned from the reunion show? You think she's really getting banned for this reason because of the warrants? Now, she did, she did not specifically say warrants. Other people on the intranets were saying <laughs> warrants. That's what the internet says, so it's not what she said. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.